Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. We continue the series, indeed, of the tools of the shift, I'm calling them, or of the new energy. And for the last weeks, last month and this month, we have been listing some of these tools. Some of them are gifts because they're very, very needed. And some of them are tools that will create an awareness and a light in your life that enhances the old soul. This is one of those enhancements. It's hard to describe to you what might be around you that you're not aware of. It's hard to describe what you think you are aware of and are not. And what I mean by that, when somebody tells you you have a soul, did you really understand and know how big it is, that you could go to it, that you could actually pull from it? The answer is probably not. These last years with a circle of 12 have enhanced that, have brought it to fruition, have helped you to manifest a truth that perhaps you didn't know before. Well, this is like that. This is something that you have been aware of by name, but never, I guarantee you, have you really understood it? This tool is going to be called greeting your higher self. Awareness of the bigger you. When somebody says it is my higher self that did this or that or says this or that, what do you picture? Most of you really don't picture much because it's fairly elusive. So if I give you a better visualization of it, or if you've been paying attention for these last seven weeks, that higher self is the one who gives you the gift in the circle of 12, and will again tonight in a very special way. What is the higher self to you here as you walk every single day on this planet. Let's paint a picture. And it can't be too grand. You can make it as big as you wish. A visualization, if you'd like. What is the largest, most dramatically magnificent and beautiful angel that you can conjure up in your imagination? And how big would it be? Would the angel be gold? Would the angel be a rainbow color? Or would it be simply pure white? Would the angel have a gender? Would it have a shape? Would the angel rather be a wisp like a cloud? What would the voice be? of that grandest angel that you have ever met or knew about. When you combine that all together, you have a glimpse, just a glimpse of you. Your higher self is angelic, period. Your higher self is not something that that sits in you as you walk around. It's something that is you. Now, this is where it gets hard because this is a multi-dimensional concept. You want it to either be part of you or apart from you, what is it? And you'll sit there and go, give me a yes or a no answer. And we cannot. Because these things which are multidimensional go beyond that which is a singular observation. These things that we speak of and have always spoke of regarding your soul are the same way. 
They are part of you and they are apart from you. They are both. They stand with you, next to you, in you, the other side of you, all at the same time. That isn't anything you can do, not in your singularity as a human being, but your bigger you can. Your bigger you can be on the other side of the veil, and it is, and on this side of the veil, and it is. Your bigger you is always there with this handout. And this is what I want you to understand when it says the tool is greeting or being aware of a higher self. You have a guide. It has nothing to do with the three guides that are with you that we've talked about. This is a master guide. Those three guides that you want to claim are yours are truly apart from you. This one is you. Imagine being guided by yourself, a higher you, a bigger you, that knows everything, that can see what is coming, that you might be able to then skirt if it's a problem. The bigger you is the one who may then give you the affirmations to say, the bigger you, who knows everything, may sit upon you trying to give you intuition that you regularly turn down. The bigger you may be the answers that you've asked for that you don't listen to because you don't recognize the bigger you. What if you were aware and greeted every morning your higher self? What if you make up an affirmation that would be the greeting. And you say, thank you, higher self, for being with me today, for guiding me today. Show me what I don't know. Give me the things that I need. I will listen to my intuition. Thank you for showing yourself and loving me. You can treat it as you. You can treat it as apart from you. It's both. It's confusing. But don't let it be. Just because you don't understand the intricacies of a multidimensional being doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. <laughs> We've said it so many times. Just because you don't understand the intricacies, perhaps, of an automatic transmission in your vehicle doesn't mean you can't drive it. <laughs> and you do. And this is the way of it. It's an open understanding and greeting that you would have of a bigger you. A you that you are so proud of. It's angelic. It's a superpower, if you wish. And it is you. It's the eternal you, not the aging you. It's the next you in the next time around. It's the past you in the last time you were here. It's all of that. It is all-knowing. It's beautiful. And it has your name. What can you do with this? And the answer is just anything you want. But when you start acknowledging that there is a higher self, that is you, that is angelic, and that is always there, and then I tell you it always has its hand out. That means it wants you to take it. So this particular gift or tool is you taking that hand, greeting the higher self, being aware of the higher self, taking the hand of an angelic superpower, which is you, to help not only guide you around, but to have the peace that you deserve while you walk on this planet, knowing there's so much more than you were ever told. I know that this is controversial to those who believe that you were born dirty and don't have this. I will tell you, dear ones, that is not the bigger truth. The bigger truth is that this is yours and you deserve it. It is your legacy on the planet 
to know about it, to greet it, to understand it, and to have a higher consciousness evolve due to it. That's who you are. That's who you always have been. Oh, can you take a deep breath? Thank you, Spirit, for starting to show me the truth of the magnificence of the human spirit and what I can do, what we can do together. When you start amplifying this higher self, when two or three or more get together and start greeting their higher selves, everything lights up. And we've said this before. Dear ones, this is your magnificence. Prepare for this tonight in the Circle of Twelve. I am crying in love with humanity. And so it is. <laughs>